Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again for yet another run. Let's go ahead and go Lazarus to Mega Satan. Okay, okay, Lazarus is pretty chill. Lazarus is pretty chill. We're going to try and do boss rush as well, as it said. We'll pop Have our I pill. Grown up? Have I grown up? Oh, ho, ho. Pentacles right off the bat. Nice. Okay, this is good. Also, what cares do we have? Cares of Decay. Uh, I was like, why are enemies so small? And I realized I just took a Have I Grown Up pill. Have I Grown Up is such a strong pill early game. I mean, it's pretty good late game too, but you don't have that many enemies early game that, um, ow. You don't have that many enemies early game that, uh, shoot on death. So it's way more effective because you can just run over everything. Even these guys, like, yeah, they drop bombs, but do I care? But yeah, anyways, if we could just go quickly over to here and take a little look at our uh, inventory and take a look at pentacles here. Grabbing collectibles uh, from the pedestals, a 50% chance of also granting an item wisp for the aforementioned item. Essentially meaning we have a 50% chance to get a temporary second version of that same item. So if we get quad shot, and we get that 50% chance, we then get two quad shots, which... Oh, shit, okay, they then they explode. Did not know that. Oh, oh, my God. Um, but as you can imagine, that is insanely powerful. Also, I don't really care if I die here, so I'm just going to go for this. Oh, that is a really sad devil deal to see, because I am very much in the market for a devil deal, and neither of those are any good. Also, that chest disappeared. Um... Oh, it's because I've got, I've got Decay on, hasn't it? Yeah, so that's a bit unfortunate. I was going to say I'm fine if I die. Um, I, in fact, I was kind of hoping I'd get a Devil Deal, but unfortunately, I've got a Devil Deal that I cannot take. Um, what on earth is going on right now? I'm quickly going to bomb this and see if I get enough money for... Um... Ah, unfortunately, not enough. That is a crazy-looking keeper, dude, there. I'm going to try this. It's a risk, and I am using basically everything I have, but there you go. If I get Broken Murder, it'll be well worth it, and I did. Um, but we didn't get a second Broken Murder in there. So the, the kind of caveat with this is obviously a lot of items, when duplicated, basically don't do anything. So you've kind of got this um, little bit of a sort of tug and pull between if you're going to get an item that actually matters when you duplicate it or not. So we will essentially we'll see. Um, yeah, let's respawn while we've got HP here. We get the stat up. We get that. Um, and we did get a second one. As you can see, though, that didn't actually do anything for us. Although it gives us a random stat per floor, so it may give us a random stat here. Let's check. Uh, we got... I don't know what stat we got this time. <laughs> I have no idea, so I can't tell. But it definitely didn't give us the extra HP, because unfortunately, the Wisps don't give me HP. But one really, really good thing is, despite many items not having a duplicated effect or being worth anything being duplicated, the Wisp itself is still very, very valuable, because it protects you against getting hit by uh, shots from enemies, especially once you start to rack them up. 50% chance to get a, a Wisp, that does mean we can effectively rack up quite a lot like considering we get roughly um two to four items a floor depending on how things go also broken mode and just saved me from getting hit there really do not like this room um yeah considering we're gonna get roughly two to four items per floor that is a good amount of chances to um i really hate this fighting this guy's horrible it's a good amount of chances to end up getting these pentacles. And if we can manage to keep, like, them alive until we get the next one and then the next one, it's going to create a situation where we have quite a lot of, uh, of help with defending against incoming shots, which I very much like. Okay. Good, good. And honestly, there's no point checking the shop on this floor. What did we get from our item room this time around? Oh, we, we just didn't get a key, did we? Okay. I almost left without checking my item room then, I'll be honest. Um, I just completely forgot we hadn't been in it yet. I kind of want to bomb this guy, but it's feeling a little risky. We got him. We got him. But yeah, in terms of the question of the day for today. Hmm. That's, that's a toughie. Uh, I will check out Devil Deal here. We got some HP to back us up, so... Yeah, I think we go. I think we go whole hog here. 
We grab both. It's gonna give us two black hearts. The nail is, of course, really nice for situations like this, but also just for the half black heart generation as well. I quite like that. Um, yeah, what is the question of t of the day today? That that is a good question in itself. What is a website that is that you use that you feel is relatively unknown that you swear by? Something that you ha that you've used a lot. I don't personally have one of these. I don't think that I have one. Not off the top of my head, I don't. But it's a it's a question that I've seen asked or, like on Reddit before a few times, and it is a genuinely fantastic question. Ooh, also, we got double Leo here, but now our wisps can be used for their contact damage whenever we get invincibility, which is incredible. We also have flight as well, which I didn't really think about, which is also pretty incredible. A cell heart there. Nice. Ooh, didn't expect the secret room to be there, I'll be honest. I was just trying it. Got a cracked key here. Wasn't expecting that either. I don't really know here. I'm just going to pop it here and hope for the best. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it'd be here, I'll be honest, but I really didn't know where it'd be. God, I kind of hate the fact that because we've got double Leo right now, we're fucking massive. But yeah, I don't really have uh, one of those myself that I can think of. And that may seem a little dumb to uh, to ask a question that you don't have the answer, like that you don't have an answer to. So normally I ask ones that I, I particularly like have an answer sort of locked and ready for. But you're going to say it's something that I've seen on Reddit people ask before. And some of the websites that I've ended up finding out through that are really, really good. I suppose one, it's not exactly unknown. It's, it's not even close to unknown. But one that I use a lot, I usually use it for my work a good amount. It's called Pexels. And essentially, it's just a site that is full of literally millions of free use videos and images that you can use for like YouTube, anything, basically anything. Like I, I create some some of the marketing material for the job that I work at, so it allows me to essentially gather those materials super, super easily and not get in any legal trouble, not have any chance of getting any legal trouble for. Uh... Oh, come on, haunted item, haunted item. Ooh, we did get molding clear, which is a in itself pretty good item. I love this room. I th I'm, I'm not sure if this is m of my creation or not. I honestly don't know, but I like it nonetheless. Yes, we got an item. And it's a good one as well. Hungry Soul is a, a favourite of mine. Another item? Another item? Ah, heck. Ah, I shouldn't have walked into that. That was a bad idea. Anyways, I'm just going to quickly check for a crawl space here. I realise I should just get rid of the fires first. We lost one of our um, one of our wisps there, but that's not a huge deal. Right, let's get gone. Let's get gone. Uh, we're not doing Mother this time, we're doing Mega Satan. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why do I do this? I see Mega Satan and I just completely forget that you need to go Angel Deal. I see a good Devil Deal and my brain's just like, a herder. That would be fun. No. You idiot. <laughs> Why are you like this? Why are you like this, brain? Okay. One kind of funny thing is we, we got the nail here and I was kind of like, oh yeah, the nail for like destroying uh, destroying rocks and then we immediately got Leo straight after. <laughs> also, the Leo resprite re is real nice. It's real nice. I just walked over that mushroom by accident. Not a good idea. Never ever a good idea. But yeah, I'm sure a lot of you out there have like these these websites that you use like on a daily basis or like even, even if it's just one that you pop to every now and again that you feel people do not know about and is super, super worthwhile. Because there's a lot of them out there. I mean, even just like Isaac related, the Isaac character randomization thing, this thing here that's on the screen now. Uh, that's actually a website in the way that I get it into my videos. Some people think that it's edited in, but it's actually not. It's a it's a like a web source that I input into OBS. The creator of the website um, actually added that in for me. I asked them specifically if they could do it, and they did very 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 nicely. So I was very happy about that. But yeah, that's a website that's relatively unknown and it's really good. If you just type in Isaac character randomization, it's like the second option, I think. And it's 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 a really, really useful website for randomizing characters. Because the the default game randomizer, for one, doesn't let you um well, it, it does let you randomize between modded characters if you have them on, but the main thing really is it doesn't let you randomize between tainted and non-tainted at the same time. You have to swap and choose between. So yeah, it's not a full, really, randomization 
as, as you'd probably want it, or as a lot of people would want it. I'll pop this in here and not get to use it. Good, good. Hey, good HP here. Uh, yeah, and, and like, also, it lets you add, like, custom goals on for, like, what boss you want to do. I have randomized that. You can pick percent chances for all the characters, all the, all the bosses that you might want to fight. So, I have, like, a lowered chance for Mega Sate and stuff like that. Um, then you can even add some external extra goals as well, like, only go to, um, like, try to go to the secret room every floor and stuff like that. You can, there's, there's quite a lot of different extra goals. Obviously, I don't play with those on, but there's some interesting ones in there if, if that's sort of your style. It's very, very good. We have enough money to go for our shop here. We unfortunately do not have um, enough keys, though. What I'm definitely looking for right now is fire rate. A fire rate is not great. Whoa! <laughs> now, this is a lucky room. Obviously, we can't really make use of the rainbow poops. That's a little bit of a shame, but that's still a really lucky draw on this room. What bomb sprite was that that I just had there? I don't even know. Counterfeit Penny. Oh, um, it's because I've got Molding Clay. I keep forgetting that Molding Clay is going to give me a, a random item. I don't know if it's every room, but it's a lot of rooms. It gives you a random item. Like this one, we got Eden's Blessing. Now, question. Does does that mean next, next um, run we'll get an extra item? Because we technically had Eden's Blessing. I don't know. I really don't. That's, a, that's an intriguing prospect. I'm not sure exactly how the game will uh, will work that out. I'm so glad we got Pergatory. Is it Pergatory? Can't remember what this, uh, this item's called now. Oh, we got Tech X in this room. Such a great item. Oh, goddamn, not having keys here is pretty painful. Should not have opened that golden chest. Hey, we got Turtle Baby for this room too. Yes, my little fella. It'd be so funny if Pentacles was like a slight bit broken and was just giving us uh, <laughs> Pentacle Wisps of the items that Morden Clay gave us. Obviously, it's not, but that's that's a way I could very much foresee a break happening. Right. The D4. I don't think the D4 is really worth it for us, I'll be honest. That was a really dumb move right there. Oh, did you just see how many times I got hit then? That was, oof, that was pathetic. Essentially, my, my idea there was, ooh, let's destroy some of these rocks to get a crawl space. I didn't think about the fact that those um, spikes were going to start moving differently, and I lost three whole hearts out of that. I mean, I'm not exactly worried because I've still got good HP, and I've still got um, a way to regen said HP. Yeah, I don't, I don't... One thing I'm a bit unsure of is, like, why didn't Molding Clay proc in this room? Like, I don't, I don't really understand how that works. I'm trying to get this dude to jump onto my blood whenever I can. There you go. Does quite a lot of damage, actually, as you can see. I'm just trying to create, like, a large enough pool of blood. And then he'll jump over towards me. He's not really jumping all that much, to be fair, but... You do you, I guess, sir. You do you. And then here, we're going to get Pentagram. Please give us this twice. Yes! We got an extra Pentacles Wisp for the um, for Pentagram, which means we get double the damage up. Anything that's like flat stat upgrade is always going to stack. Interesting. Grant a loaded dice here. Just an extra 10 look for a room so we can like pop it in this room. But yeah, now when we get invincibility, we want to be running into enemies as much as possible. Nice, grab another loaded dice. There's not really, like, too good of a use case for loaded dice, I'll be honest. Right, quickly do that. Ah, that's a sticky nickel. I don't care about bombing that, really. But yeah, just, just like, using it in a room that we can get some drops out of is, is decent enough. Oh, that was a great bomb. That was a great bomb. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the left hand. I think I'm way happier with Molding Clay right now. I think Molding Clay... Could potentially be quite fun. Molding Clay actually first appeared in Four Souls. I don't know how many people know that. Um, but I, I remember um, Rules Card, unfortunately, and an Anzus. We'll at least take the Anzus. Yeah, um, when I got Four Souls originally, yeah, it, it came with the, the Molding Clay card. And I was like, oh damn, that's uh, that's not an item that's ever been in Isaac. Wonder when it'll appear. And of course, it ended up being in Repentance. So, pretty cool. 
We could, of course, try and use sack rooms to get our angel keys to actually make Mega Satan happen. Uh, but we'd need a lot of spare um, spare HP to do that, and I don't really think we have that right now. I wonder what the chance is for, um, for these little red ghosts, because it, it, it feels like it's really high in some rooms, then really not in others. But, like, look, look, look at this room. Molding clay didn't trigger, and I don't know what it is that decides whether it triggers or not, because I, I thought it triggered every room. He was. Not very lucrative, unfortunately. But whatever. What does this do again? Killing enemy has a chance to give a ghost. Nah. It's interesting, but I think what we've got is more interesting, potentially. Especially now that we know it can give modded items as well. I, I like. I wasn't sure if it would, but it does seem to just work. Okay, so now we can like run into these enemies, do a bit of contact damage there. Actually got some hearts out of that as well. It's every four is it every 40 seconds or every 80 seconds you get invincibility? I can't remember now. Quickly pop in here. Hey, leech. I like that resprite on leech as well. Pretty cool. We get this, which I don't really think we need to play around with too much. Unfortunately, nothing there that we want either. We'll go this way though for the Oh no! Just lost a huge bit of damage there. That is the uh, the caveat of pentacles, I will say. Oh, damn. Oh, this is one of my rooms. I was like, this room's weird. And I was like, oh, no, it's mine. Ta-da. That's why the arrows made of coins are there. <laughs> to let you know that you got to bomb over it. Uh, pop that. Grab that. Pop that. Oh, wait. Oh, I've made a mistake here, haven't I? I was like, ooh, yeah, Eternal Heart. That'll be good. But then I realized that we're not a character that can only have Soul Hearts. So we're going to get the Eternal Heart. And it's going to ruin our invincibility and our flight. So we're going to have to trade it away pretty pretty damn quickly. And you watch us get a Devil Deal on this floor. So we, so we can't trade it away. Oh, we got Nugget on this room. Bit of a shame by me there. Bit of a shame. It was not intentional, really. He lagged at the worst time then. I was hoping he's going to charge me down. Get him. Get him. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to trade this away, are we? Bit of a shame, that. Unfortunately, nothing there I want anyways. Uh, we'll go down. We keep on heading down now. Keep on heading down. Yeah, so unfortunately, we've lost our flight and stuff. But as long as we get another Devil Deal soonish. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Like, our, our, our stats and damage are actually pretty good, especially now with this fire rate boost we just got. I'm pretty happy. Ooh, we got a Dormic there as well. I love these enemies. These Thrasher dudes. Pop your head up, fool. Pop your head up. Unfortunately, not a great room. I'm not bothered with pills, to be honest. I'm a, like, I... The, when I take pills, it's very up and down. Some some runs I take none, other runs I take them all. If I, basically, if I'm in a comfortable enough position, I'm just like, nah, why? <laughs> why risk it? If, if I get a fire rate down, I'm going to be devastated. But we keep on pushing. Ooh, we haven't seen a bloody rock in a really long time. I, uh, I actually tweaked the chances for bloody rock, so it makes a lot of sense that they're rarer. I'm glad that they're rarer. They were way too strong before. I, I put them down to a 5% chance to replace um, to replace any spiked rocks. So it's the I think by, by default they're like 15% chance or something along those lines. So my chances are much, much more like grounded in terms of how powerful they are. Because you got to admit, red runes and cracked keys are both very strong assets. And I get that they're there to kind of enable the... Um, the new crimson chests, which is cool, but they don't, they're not just used for that, and so they kind of, they kind of run wild a little bit. Luckily, we can destroy the rocks here and make this room a whole hell of a lot easier. Or I can just walk on the spikes. Large zit is whatever. I probably should have just scooped that up, I'll be honest. Let me just go over here. Probably should have just, um, red ruined it. 
wasn't really that necessary to actually take it, but it's not a terrible item. Ooh, Charged Baby got a Resprite. He's looking cute as a button. I'll take Charged Baby. Might as well take this as well. Hey, and we got two of them as well. <laughs> we got the double. And we're pretty much good to go on this floor. I always like it when, like, you don't have to go to all the dead ends. I know some other people would think, oh, but you got to explore everywhere. What if you get a rare planetarium or something? But I'm just like, nah. Speed. All I want to do is go fast. And we got ourselves a golden version of Mum's Locket. Okay, that's just a resprite. I like the resprite. It's nice. We'll pop this in here. So we might want to end up red ruining a boss item here. Yeah, I think large zit's actually okay. Whoa, I can't believe I managed to get that dodge there. Again, I'm trying to set up blood piles for this guy to, like, jump into. It's a little more difficult with this dude because he bounces around a lot. Ah, damn. That was, a, that was an attempted bomb. Didn't really work. Hey, if you slow him over it, that works. So, I don't think we should grab that yet. Let's let's check in here. Ooh, I'm a little I'm a little salty about that. I've got to admit. Um, take that, take that, and then red rune that. Okay, I'm I'm reasonably happy with how that went down. We got Mum's knife, which is, is something I haven't had in a while, and also we got a Mum's knife wisp, which means we should have two knives. There you go. Look at that. Our invincibility is even stronger. We got our flight back. Another red rock there. And there's a the crimson chest, of course. Oh, I haven't had Mum's Knife in so long. This is nice. I want to try and keep my Wisp alive so I can keep the double Mum's Knife for as long as possible. It's not like I need it, but the longer I can keep it, the happier I'll be. And I'm kind of... I've kind of got to admit I'm in speedrun mode now. Like, I've... I've got the items required for me to just go ridiculously fast. And that makes me want to go ridiculously fast. It's just fun. I just, I think Isaac's one of those games where going quickly is a very fun way to play. And you, you do maybe miss out on making your run more powerful. But once you get to the point, or at least when I get to the point where I realize my run is as powerful as it needs to be to win. At that point, I'm like, let's heckin' go. <laughs> Now, I am obviously playing this golden coin out to the fullest of its extent, but that's neither here nor there. Of course, we'll be popping that whenever we can. In fact, we can grab this and try and get ourselves into Bosch Rush, because Bosch Rush is one of our goals. It'd be nice to at least complete one of our goals. Nice. Oh, that damage. And we can not take the Eternal Heart. We'll check this out. We got Eye of Belial. Okay, there's some really good shit here. I'm going to play it very risky and take both. Uh. Then I'm going to grab the negative for the damage. Bloody Lust. Mum's Perfume. Neither are good, but I'll take Bloody Lust. And then just if we die, we die. Simple as. But I think, basically my thinking is, with the nail, we should be able to survive. Because every three waves we go without getting hit, we get another half soul heart. Which I think is pretty plausible for what the setup that we've currently got and the damage that we're currently on. Like, look how much damage we're doing. I mean, Broken Murder also sets the scene for us quite nicely. Yeah, the, the double knives are really doing a lot of work here for us. And we're, we're essentially going to come out of this sitting pretty with the amount of health we're going to leave with, I think. Of course, as well, on top of that, the damage is just scaling upwards over and over and over again every time we use the nail. Because uh, they stack. Luckily, those guys only shoot out dips when uh, they touch a wall, so not much chance of them doing anything like that. This guy, however, a little bit on the more annoying side. God damn, yeah, this is scaling up so heavily. And also, we've got these little ghosts, which I don't think scale with your damage. 
but let's pretend they do. But we're at 16 damage now, and we're just one-shotting everything. Like, even when I'm speedrunning, I'm able to speedrun the, the boss itself and be fine. And then, like, so, so far, we, we literally haven't been hit yet. Like, I'm, I'm jinxing it by saying that, I know. But, so far, so good. The holler. Holler at your boy. I just hope we don't lose... I can't remember how this works. So, therefore, we must take it. It's good. I like it. I remember it being a really broken, um, I might as well take that now. Um, I remember it being a really broken synergy in Afterbirth Plus, but I remember it got somewhat fixed in this. And this is the first time I've ever actually had it, and do you know what? I gotta say, I quite like it. Ball of Tower as well. Uh, I think that was a Mimic. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there. But as long as we can keep two knives, which honestly isn't reliable for that long, we'll probably end up losing it reasonably quickly um it's gonna be very good for us because the two knives makes it a little more powerful but i think this is gonna be a good go to i think i think we're gonna be able to absolutely wipe the floor with the womb for the most part it seems that we're able to cover most of the room with this setup too which isn't something that's that common so i pretty much i'm very happy to be to, to have what we have and this is just another sort of example of like why i why i like playing the way i do and why why i like not going for these really big streaks because i feel like when you go for these really big streaks getting this set up i and if i was on like a streak of like 20 or 30 i do not or higher i don't think i'd have ever taken um ti uh, tiny planet here i think it would just be too big of a potential risk for me to think okay but now i'm like this this looks oh shit this looks fun as heck why not also, that hit was bullshit. I accidentally leered and walked into that, um... Walked into that stupid explosive rock. Not what I intended at all. But for the most part, the damage we're taking... Goddamn, these bloody rocks are showing up way more than normal. I feel like I haven't seen them in, like, loads of episodes, and now they're all over the heckin' place. Oh, shit, I got a flight! Oh! Really dumb hit. You gotta remember what my setup currently is. This is insane. This is so good. <laughs> like I said, I, I know that soon, like pretty soon, we're gonna end up losing our wisp. But for now, I'm very happy. Damn it. Black Doll's actually really good for us here, but I was really hoping to trade away this HP to get flight back. Still, though, we are speeding along. Yeah, when, when we lose the knife, I am going to be sad, but Pentacles is, is so far paying off nicely. We also managed to get a level 2 Meat Boy. Oh, Bandage Girl, should I say. Okay, Black Doll is insane with this setup, because it's attaching two enemies to each other and we're doing so much damage the enemies we're hitting that it's basically insta-killing said other enemy our magician's pretty interesting here as well there it goes that's it stupid turrets my double knife is gone i mean our damage is still pretty pretty wicked but it just makes it a little less good against like bosses and stuff but i think for the most part we're not really gonna notice it i just the the speed at which the knife travels is insane and it does it on the, on the way back as well. That's like the crazy thing. The speed at which it travels just makes it so good. I'm really liking the uh, remove tears on uh, ending a room as well. That mod that clears tears when you end a room. It's, it's very, very nice. Okay, I'm not a big fan of this room with this setup. Almost got hit there. That would have been devastating. Ooh, I wish I'd fly it right now, because that's tempting. Okay. Let's just use our magician in this room here. I think I charged it up too much then. How are you not dead? D dude, 
How did that eye not die? Okay, Magician seems to have really balked this up. We were doing such good damage before. I, I, I think it's genuinely traveling too fast now. And I'm not sure entirely why. Like, it seems to be having a real hard time latching onto an enemy. Maybe it's maybe it's the range that Magician is giving it that's causing issues. I don't know. We did take the negative, so we're going down. And we go across as well. Yeah, it seems a lot better without the magician. I don't know what what was what was the deal with that causing it such problems, but it didn't seem to like it. Definitely the loss of 2020 is, is not helping, but I don't think it's life and death. Yeah, I think we can get through this next, these next two floors. And remember as well, we're going to be getting items here. Okay, that enemy just charged me down. We're going to be getting items here and there um, on the next floor and at the start of the next floor as well, which could help out. It's just that our health isn't amazing. And now that we're only producing a half heart, what? Will this work? Oh my lord, that's cool. <laughs> okay. This could uh, this could add a nice dynamic. Something I hadn't thought of. Oh, that was a really bad bit of movement by me there. Okay, three, two, one. Didn't really work the way I wanted it to. I still think is it like a shot speed or something? Something just feels a little off against bosses. Like, I don't know, does shot speed even affect the knife? Or is it just how m I think it's maybe how much I'm charging it. I think I only want to be doing, like, a half charge. I think a full charge is powering the knife up a little too much. There you go. Beautiful. Right, so we might be able to get our invincibility and flight back here. But remember, it is going to cost us. It is going to cost us. Twisted Pear. I think... Oh, Brimstone as well. I think Twisted Pear is a must grab. Because that's just going to create more of this. Brimstone is like, I want it, but I just... For one, I don't even know what it would do. But for two, I just don't think it's necessary. But I do I, I do think Twisted Pear, despite putting our health in a... Oh, god damn it. I didn't realize there were so many enemies on this stage. Despite putting our health in a somewhat undesirable position and now putting us one hit to death, we do have nine lives. We've got to remember that. And we're always going to be getting extra health from... Uh, oh, we can't bomb our way out here, can we? We're always going to be getting extra health from the nail whenever it procs, whenever we're able to use it. And yeah, as, as we saw with the 2020, the extra knives make a whole hell of a lot of difference. So I think it is worth it. I think our hardest... It, like, the, the, the sort of biggest issue for us, really, is going to be the boss itself. Nice. We're hoping for as many items as possible here, but I doubt we'll get many. I reckon we'll get two or three. Also, we got the battery, uh, the, the little battery baby as well, which might provide us with some charges for the nail here and there. Oh, we got quad shot in this room. Oh, damn. That was not a nice experience with those turrets. And we got... That's a bad... I almost got hit there. Oh, no. This guy's moving way too much. We got him. We're going in with three hearts. We might not do this, but the, the damage itself... For some reason, I was thinking it was going to be blue baby. That's not, not this floor. Uh, the damage itself should surpass any damage that we take. I'm hoping that we get invincibility at some point during the fight as well. We might not need it, but it'd be nice. Either way, that's going to end it out. What a cool and fast run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Absolute belter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.